Hi, I'm Toby. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find and edit the instruction notes page on a Carpenter's lesson. And in this example, I will be using the image processing with Python lesson from Data Carpentry. So I'll just start sharing my screen. There we are. So this is the landing page of that lesson website. It includes some um, introductory text and the setup instructions for learners to follow before they begin the lesson. Along the top bar, you can see links to various accessory pages to the lesson, such as a collection of the key points from each episode, a glossary of terms, and so on. And at the top right, we can see that we're currently looking at the lesson in the learner view. If I click on this drop down, I can switch the lesson over to the instructor view. This has a couple of immediate effects. Firstly, it changes this front page of the lesson to include an estimated teaching schedule instead of the setup instructions. It also changed the options that were available in that top bar menu. Um, the page of key points is still available, uh, but the links to the glossary and the learner profiles have been replaced to, with links to instructor notes and a page containing all of the uh, images used throughout the lesson. If I click on this link to the instructor notes, I'm taken to the instructor notes page. Um, and here we see a collection of notes that are intended to help instructors teach this lesson more effectively. It includes guidance on teaching the lesson with Jupyter notebooks, some warnings and advice about, um, about how to work with um, the main libraries that are used within the lesson and a note about a potential point of confusion in one of the episodes of the lesson here in this under this blurring header. Um, there's also after that a list of questions asked by learners in the pilot workshops of the curriculum as well as the their answers and finally at the bottom there's a troubleshooting section that notes a technical problem encountered by some learners in the past. Under that, sorry, here's that troubleshooting section. Then under that, there's a set of headings that corresponds to each of the episodes within the lesson. Any inline instructor notes that are embedded throughout the lesson will automatically be collected in the sections under these headings. But at the moment, they're all empty because the lesson doesn't yet contain any of those inline notes. We hope to change that, of course, during the upcoming instructor notes drive um, and further into the future as well. And um, you'll find another video on this channel that describes those inline instructor notes and how to add them to a lesson. For now though, let's look at how to edit this main instructor notes page. If we scroll right the way down to the page footer, we find a link that says source. When I click on that, I'm taken to the source repository for the lesson on GitHub. This initial view of the repository includes a listing of all the various folders and files um, that it contains. Um, and the source file for that instructor notes page is located inside the instructors folder here. So if I click on that folder, I see the contents of it. And at the moment, there's only a single file in there called instructornotes.md. And that file extension, by the way, .md indicates that this is a markdown file. If I click on the file name, GitHub presents me with a view of its interpretation of the markdown contents of that file. Um, and I can use these two buttons here to switch between this, um, what's called the rendered view and the source view that shows the actual markdown content itself. To edit the file, I click on the button with the pencil symbol near the top right here. This takes me into GitHub's file editing interface um, where I can add new content to the file. And in this case, I'm going to be adding a note about the estimated timings used in the lesson. So we'll put this I guess um, let's propose that it goes after the working with Jupyter Notebooks section. So here, put in the new um, title. 
second level heading called estimated timings. And then here I've got some text that I'll just paste in. Okay, so that's the uh, text of the of the instructor note that I that I want to um, propose gets added to the lesson. Um, once I've finished making my edits, um, I can scroll right the way down to the bottom of this page, and I'll find if I keep scrolling the box that says "Propose Changes," and I can click in uh, this this first box here under proposed changes and write a um, commit message to describe briefly the change that I'm making. So add an instructor note about estimated timings. Um, I could add an extended description if I wanted to. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave that blank and click on this proposed changes green button. This takes me to a comparison between my version of the file that includes this new um, note and the previous version. We can see here in green that these 11 lines are being added into the file in the change that I'm proposing. And I can click the create pull request button here to propose this uh, change to the to the lesson repository. So I get automatically um, in this open a pull request interface that commit message that I wrote um, substituted in here as the title for the um, for the pull request that I'm opening, and then I should select all of the contents of the um, kind of details box, as it says here, please delete this line and the text below before submitting your contribution. Delete that. And in this box, I can add some additional context about the pull request to help the lesson maintainers review it. Um, this adds an instructor note encouraging instructors to share their experience of how long it takes to teach the different parts of the lesson. And then I, once I'm happy that I've provided whatever additional context I want to provide here, I can click this green create pull request button. And if I wait a moment longer, then you can see that this pull request has now been opened. It's number 277 in the repository. Um, and I'm now ready to move on to the next lesson that I want to work on and the next instructor note that I want to add or move or update or whatever. Thank you very much for watching this um, instructional video. I was showing you how to edit the instructor notes page of a Carpentries lesson. You might also be interested in the accompanying video that I mentioned earlier that shows how to add an inline instructor note to a specific episode within a lesson. Um, check out the Carpentries YouTube channel to find that video and of course many others that I hope will also be useful to you. Goodbye and thank you for watching.